you think the second episode of Weevils is realistic or impossible? Let's break it down. Hello again, my name is Guster Lappin. It has been several days I've went through to make the next video in my YouTube channel where I, a special expert, react to more special videos and we get to determine if this is real or fake. In this special video, I will be analyzing the second episode of The Weebles Show and we will find out if this episode is realistic or impossible. Now what you may not know is that one of the biggest complaints about the first episode in 2003 on Nickelodeon was that there were practically no clips of the second episode. But in the 2005 DVD, they fixed that. And what you'll find in the second episode, this introduces characters like Jose the Hosepipe, Plug the Fire Hydrant, and Zebu the Dalmatian as more friends of the firefighting gang, as well as Tui the Turtle. And the name of this episode we'll now be seeing is called Weebles to the Rescue, and is also animated. However, we're gonna break it down in detail to see if this episode can actually be realistic. Before we begin, I want you to leave a comment down below. Is this episode realistic or is it impossible? I want you to hear what you can think and we will reveal the answer at the end of the video. Now let's watch the episode. Help! Help! Oh, it sounds like Tibby is crying for help! Oh, the machine is cotton shooting candy. cotton candy up! Oh, it's falling Pendleton down! All of a sudden, it started going flat to the flat to the flat to the That's a funny word! Okay, here's the first thing I see. When someone hears Tibby the elephant cry for help, the cotton candy machine is going crazy. And also, a huge lump of it makes Pendleton the penguin roll backwards. I didn't know that this could happen, but in real life, that wouldn't happen. I know he can do it. Oh, whoever stuck. Uh -oh. Is it stuck to me? Yep. That's what I just said. I think I know just what to do. I hope you can handle it. Zebo's got it. Okay, Jose. Wrap your nose around the lever and hold on real tight. Oh, you got it, Tui. Let's count. One, two, three. And when we get to three, Zebo Plug and I are going to pull just as hard as we can. Okay, on three. One. Ready? Gotta be strong. Gotta help my friend. Oh, no. Ooh, you're hitting a lot. Oh, yay! Oh, you did it, Dewey. You did you do see? it, Tui. Oh gosh, I couldn't. Oh, have that cotton candy made a ring on top of his head. Mm -hmm. Oh, she gave him a you're kiss. That was so cute. Tui. He's spinning back to the fire station. Oh, Pendleton's all covered in Pendleton cotton candy. Wins. I'm about to That's jump very over funny. my really, really high donut tower. Don't you want to watch? And then after, <laughs> you can help me eat all the yummy donuts. Who's going to eat up all the donuts Thank after she jumped away, over it? But I need to go home and take a shower and, and wash my clothes and my hair and my shoes and my socks and my ears and my underwear and my, my everything. His everything. Oh. Well, you know that Pendleton's a penguin, he doesn't have any ears. And if he has to wash his hair, he must wash his fur around his body. But this is a weebo. And he doesn't wear any socks and shoes, unless they have legs and feet, which wouldn't happen. This is going to be my Where'd highest you get these giant donut donuts jump from, ever! Zuzi? Will you watch me jump, Wakiti? Of course, Zuzi. But so. please be careful. That's a very high tower. Yeah, it is a Don't very worry, high tower. Wakiti. I can do it! I'm the best donut jumper in all of Weevilville! Do it! Hmm. Oh, let's see. Who is this next letter for? Oh, this letter is for my friend Tui! Yeah, it's a letter from our friend Tui! Fast as I can! What are they going to do now? What's the emergency, Tui? Is there anything I can do to help? It's a big emergency, Bumpus. That's One right. Where I might have to climb way high up. How high could this be? You think our friend Tui the Turtle is going to handle this or what? I wonder what the emergency is going to look like. Help! I didn't jump oh, high enough. Oh, it looks like ZZQ is stuck on top donut. of the giant donut tower and into the hole. That's not good at all. And it's pretty risky. Thanks for coming, Bumpus. But I think I have everything under 
was climbing on top of the fire Help! engine. Help! I'm coming, Susie. I just wish I didn't feel so scared. I hope you can handle it. Help! Whoa! Ought to be brave. Brave as a weevil can be. Whoa! Oh, it's lifting him up like a catapult. Do you think he's okay or what? Here's the next thing. When that fire engine top moves upward, it lifts Tilly up to the sky. This movement was really overdone in a way for the dramatic effect, but in real life that won't happen either. Where'd he get a trampoline? Ooh. That's not too high enough. Oh, be careful Tilly, some of the donuts have wallets in them. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. He just bumped his head. The trampoline didn't work either. That was a very weird disappointment. But I hope he's going to be all right, isn't he? The Super Springling 3000! Yep, the Super Springling 3000. Hang on tight, Tui. Whoa! He did it! Tui saved Zuzi Q from the giant donuts tower. Tui wasn't so scared after all, isn't he? I didn't know that Bumpus the dog can create a catapult that could lift up Tui as high as he could. So overall, this Weebles episode was done pretty well and is definitely animated. And I guess I could say it once and for all. This episode is animated like we did in the first Weebles episode. And I don't think it were real because it would be really dangerous. So is the second Weebles episode realistic or impossible? Well... Whatever you saw in the second Weebles episode is impossible. But I really hope that someday I will make a comic of this episode. And this is more fun. So tell me what you think about this episode, and who is your favorite character, and what would your favorite part be? Could it be a cotton candy machine shooting cotton candy? Giant donuts stacked into a tower, being flinged up to the sky on a fire engine, falling and bumping into donuts, or being launched on a really big catapult. Well, maybe we'll be the lucky ones to find out once and for all, wouldn't we? So, please head on over there to see even more exclusive stuff that you still cannot find on YouTube. You can also check out even more projects we'd like to do in the future, and if you sign up, they'll even take more of your suggestions far more seriously than the ones you will still find here. So, please like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. And this is Gustav Lappin, coming all on Joe 12. Goodbye. See you in the next video.